Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm that guy Matt and today we're going to take a look at the Passage RDA by Hellvape and uh, Matt from SMM, uh, suck my mod, and uh, I got that sitting on top of my Monarch Carnage. If you haven't seen the video for that, I'll throw a link in probably one of the corners of the screen or the description. So yeah, I've been, uh, I've been vaping on this thing like crazy. Um, I love my Monarch. I know I'm late to this video, but this Passage RDA, this is the blue one. I'll tell you about all the colors and stuff that it comes in. The uh, the drip tip is definitely a showcase in this piece, along with the uh, the innovative airflow is definitely what I would say. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. We'll dive down. We'll check out the packaging. I'll give you all the info on that. And um, yeah. Alright, cool guys, so we are down low here, and uh, this is the packaging that your Passage RDA is going to come in by um, SMM and Hellvape. As you can see, they showcase the uh, the black, I think that's the piano black with the engraved logo, which is pretty sweet. AG Plus, because it's got an AG Plus uh, drip tip, which is antimicrobial. Um, you get some more social media on the side there. On the back, it's going to tell you what uh, what it features and what it comes with. Um, down here, it'll tell you, you know, passenger RDA, your color, a little barcode and all that. So this is the blue one, as you saw up top with the uh, the super flaky uh, drip tip. On this side, same thing, AG+. It's going to tell you your innovative airflow, the honeycomb, uh, dual post build deck with separation blocks. And... Um, we're not going to open this up because I have everything uh, I have everything out of it. So what you're going to get with this, you're going to get a baggie of spares, which includes a pack of O-rings, a 510 adapter, an 810 drip tip, and that's a frosted PMMA. And you get a squonk pin and some extra extra grub screws. You get a Allen key tool and a flathead tool. Of course, you're going to get a passage sticker, a user manual, and last but not least, your passage RDA. And um, this is a 24 millimeter RDA from the bottom of the drip tip, bottom of the drip tip, from the bottom of the 510 up to the drip tip. It's about 36 and a half. Um, as you can see at the bottom there, slightly protruding gold plated 510 connection with your peak insulator. The threads are very nice. At the bottom here, we have Hell Vape in collaboration with Suck My Mod. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and just start tearing this thing apart and going, going right through. It's like I said, it's a dual post build deck with a separation block. Um, if you have the Ocula RDA, you know about separation blocks. This uh, style separation block is a little different than that. So here is your AG plus drip tip that is 810 and um, you do get a 510 adapter in that baggie of spares. And uh, this is that, uh, that, that flaky, flake, fleck. And um, it, it looks awesome. I like it and it's, it's wide bore. Um, so it's really easy to drip. I've been using this for dripping. I have not, um, I have not squonked with this. So I'll set that aside. Um, I wanted to take a closer look right here. And if my camera probably isn't really cooperating, I should probably put on my other lens. Um, you can see around the top here to control your AFC. It's, um, it's got that kind of knurled pattern, which is awesome. Um, don't mind if this is a little dirty. This isn't fresh out of the package. I have been using it and I just gave it a quick rinse. But you can see, really clean. Um, so we'll take this section off here and we'll talk about it and then we'll move on to the next. So passages. It has these three passages that have, uh, you know, internal honeycomb airflow. And you can see it's it's got a shape to it. Um, you know, kind of like a, uh, makes a weird a chamber that's got going on. You can see it's all really clean inside there though. This is done very nicely. Everybody knows like the honeycomb airflow is king. And just let me say that um, when you when you vape this, this is a, it's it's a very smooth experience. You can see you got an O ring right around the top here. Yeah. So three passages. The two on the outer are angled in, and um, the barrel section here it does lock, but you can adjust it. I should probably put it on something so I can actually show you guys. And it is, it is a locking um, barrel, is what I like to call it, barrel section. And um, it will allow you to, you know, center your AFC. So you can, 
you saw that I was spinning it left and right a little bit before it started to uh, you know unscrew the actual RDA itself so you got all the way to the left and you can see where your coil placement would be in comparison to your airflow and then you turn it all the way back to the right you can see your airflow would be perfectly centered on where your coils would be so then as you put this as you adjust your AFC like that you can see you can cut off you know one or two and the cool thing is is even if you just cut it all the way down just to having one section of that AFC it's angled in such a way that it'll still you know be pretty centered on your coils which is awesome so go ahead and we'll pop off this barrel section so you have two really big um, Cyclops slots I guess they look like they're like 10 millimeter I'm not exact on the length of these but they are plenty big enough for you to make sure that you're getting airflow perfectly centered um, and if you look here it is notched out like I said it does lock so you do have that slide left slide right but then not free spinning barrel which is awesome that's really essential to me I really like an RDA that doesn't have like a free floating barrel I guess um, is what you'd call it so you can see on the on the build deck here you got double o-rings and this goes to back to that um the whole separation block that i was talking about so dual post plenty of room for your wicking and uh, this has those those little separation blocks so you can see you can um you can move these up and down which is really nice so you just raise your grub screws and you can move these up and down you have plenty of room to install your coils it makes it really easy um, yeah so if you look down in there if you put in your squonk pin it's going to come up right up from the center um, that's pretty straightforward on that so let's go ahead we're going to slap some coils in here probably play a little music while I do it I'm going to use the same coils that I had in it before I cleaned it just because they still have a lot of life left we'll wick it we'll go back up top vape on it a little bit talk about it a little more and uh, these are really nice because they they're tracked as well um, I don't know how well you can see that, but those separation blocks are on a track. You can see it right there on the side, which is really cool. So, um, and you can see the finish in there. It's, uh, you know, like machined. It's not the cleanest, but, I mean, for, you know, this uh, this is a right around 30 to $40. So, I'm not expecting, like, you know, absolutely everything is spotless. I mean, this thing is still great. And what's, you know, that down in there doesn't bother me whatsoever. You know what I mean? If the finish on, like, the barrel section looked like that, then yeah, I'd probably be upset, but what's down in there, I'm not going to be pulling the top off and be like, hey, look underneath my wicking, you know what I mean? Nobody really does that, so. All right, let's play some music. We're going to install some coils. All right, so I will say it's a little, it's a little difficult building on camera for sure. I'll say that every day of the week, and I don't know if you're somebody that can build on camera. You know that's that's great for you, but um, sometimes with having stuff in front of my face, it's a little difficult to, uh, you know, try and slap coils in. But I will say that like building on these, with these separation blocks, it is it is really easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it a little bit back from the barrel section there. Maybe thin it out a little, maybe even trim it a little more. Um, we'll do one side first, and then we'll do the other. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna just use the other side as well. I try and use all that I can from this fire bolt because uh, I don't like wasting. You know, some of the guys in the videos, you know, whether they're getting this stuff for free or whether you know that's just how they like to use it. You no, know, that's great for you, but um, I'm not a big fan of uh, of wasting. You know what I mean? Wicking, wicking isn't too bad if you're if you're new to this and you're new to wicking, 
you know, I, you don't have to thin it out necessarily, but sometimes I like to thin it out depending on the device because it makes it a little easier to tuck it in and not have it all be so, uh, like, cluttered, so to speak, you know. It's all everybody likes to do stuff differently. So these coils are we're glowing evenly. Um, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to tuck this right in. And then I just try and push it back a little bit and do the same thing on the other side here. Not how well you can see that, but we're basically just gonna tuck it right in. I like to push it back, you know, a little centered like that. As far as like coil placement, mine, you know, it's not as high as you can go, but if you can get your coils, make sure your leads are long enough. Get them about to the, you know, the top of the uh, the posts there. You can see like where your airflow is gonna hit in comparison. So. If you get it at the top of the post there, your airflow is going to be perfectly right on your coil. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this other side in now. Like so. Plenty of cotton to work with. So, And that was actually like half of a full length. So if you haven't used Firebolt cotton before, you know, I'm, I think there's plenty of other, other cottons that have the, uh, the shoelace ends. And um, it's just great. It's really easy to work with. Uh, instead of having to, you know, twist your cotton and try and get it through. And see, that's... After about a few different RDAs wicking, that's what I'm left with. Can't really do too much with that. So that, that feels good to me because that's not a waste. Let me trim that back a little more. Drip some banana taffy slaw on there. Get these coils nice and uh, nice and wet. Oh yeah, got some vapor going on. Cool. So we'll uh, we'll slap it on the Monarch. We'll go back up top, and uh, yeah, we'll talk about it a little more. All right, guys, so we are back up top here. Sorry if you didn't have the best viewing angle while I was installing those coils and wicking. Um, the way I have my, my boom arms set up for my microphone and stuff, it does make it a little difficult. That's why sometimes I don't even show installing coils and wicking because it's a little hard to do on camera. But anyway, um, like I was saying before, separation blocks make it really easy to install coils. Is this like a newbie RDA? No, not necessarily. I mean, I've been rebuilding RDAs for a little while now and I still have some trouble with it, but quickly let's run over the facts again. So Element Vape, right around between $30 and $40 depending on sales and whatnot. The colors that you're going to get in this, you're gonna, it's going to come in nine different colors, nine. So you get black with the engraved, like on the front of the box here. You get Purple, blue, gold, stainless, rainbow, gunmetal, piano black, and the matte black. Um, I want to get the blue because I always stick to black and reds. Everything is black and red. And uh, I want to get something that uh, kind of stands out. And um, I'm I'm in love with this thing. The, the airflow is smooth. Let's sit here. We'll give it a few vapes. I'll let you hear it. And let me say the flavor off this is great. The coils that are in here are by Sherlock Ohms. You can check him out on YouTube and he also has a website as well. Very smooth. Yeah, great, just, just great. I mean, it jets out to 25 at its widest point, 24 millimeter RDA, jets out to 25. Looks great on the Monarch. I've also been using it on the Arcless by uh, Ambitions Vapor and uh, Mech Life. Nice mech mod. Um, yeah, so I think I've gone over everything, and um, I don't want to really drag this on anymore. So um, this thing is is all over. It's it's like readily available. It's not out of stock. It's got awesome colors. Um, it's it's pretty easy to build as as funny as that sounds considering how it looked on camera if you don't have stuff in front of your face and you can actually hold it up to your face and see what you're doing it's a pretty easy build and uh, 
yeah, I haven't used it for squonking, so I don't know how it is on squonking. I've just been using it for dripping, um, but it's nice that they give you some spare parts and whatnot. You get a lot of options on colors. The, the AG Plus drip tip is really cool, um, and it's uh, it's awesome. It's just one of those awesome internal honeycomb airflow. Um, I mean, if you want to talk about AFC and internal and, and honeycomb, the recurve dual, I mean, anything that has honeycomb airflow, I've 95% of the time is just is crazy smooth because honeycomb airflow is just awesome. It's really just awesome. And I have this thing wide open. I don't have any of these, any of the passages closed off. I have it just, just wide open. Um, and if you have, like I said, if you had your coils right at the top of those, you're going to get perfect airflow on your coils. So all in all, is this thing worth what they're asking for? Oh, yeah, certainly. Locking barrel to adjust, you're always going to get centered airflow. The way these passages are designed, you're always going to get the airflow coming in at a good angle. Um, so, yeah, this thing is well worth it. I, I don't really know what else to say. The only cons I would have to say is probably that the separation blocks don't r raise with the grub screws because there are RDAs that do that, but it's the idea that you can you know you can do a little something like this with your coils and like that on the other side and the separation block allows for both of that you know then you turn down your grub screw it crushes the lead which pushes the lead down and or the um sorry the um the separation block and then it crushes the other lead so i get the idea of it um we have seen other rdas that just have the raising separation block and then it goes back down uh the turk v2 the ocula rda are just a couple that i can name offhand but um i like this it's it's a little different it works great. The cost is, is you know, this is something that you can go out and buy. I mean, $30 to $40. Element Vape was having a sale. It was in the, it was in the $30 range. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments why. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. You'll stay up to date on uh, all the videos that I post. And if you turn on that bell, you'll get notified every time I put out a video. I try and put out one or two videos a week. And uh, hopefully, I know this, I say this every video, hopefully I'm going to start doing some, uh, some live streams. I'm just trying to uh, understand OBS and Photoshop and, and all of that. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, and good night. And remember, let's, uh, let's keep vaping. Passage RDA.